Hello, hello, and welcome back to another edition of our Positive Word. I hope you are well. Thank you for joining me on this blessed Sunday. The trust test. Trust is something that is very essential in all relationships. But in today's world, it tends to be overlooked as people become more materialistic and focusing on the self. I just wanted to draw our attention because in our relationship with God, we're respected. We must trust him every step of the way. In the book of Exodus chapter 16, where, where we read about the how the children of Israel began to complain about not having enough food to eat in the wilderness. We saw how they reminisced about the palatable meals which they had in Egypt and how they would rather go back to be slaves than to perish through hunger in that wilderness. God had to rain bread from heaven with specific instructions to see if they would obey him. In this chapter, we see how the people failed woefully by going against what they were asked to do. They stockpiled the food instead of taking what was needed for each day. It might have been out of fear that God would stop providing for them, just like we do nowadays. We face all sorts of tests in our own lives regularly. Those tests may or may not be directly from God. However, they do come to test how we trust him to see us through whatever comes our way. But very often we find ourselves walking in the opposite direction, doing things which God hasn't instructed us to do, things that actually take us away from the will of God for us. Just as that test was not for God's benefit, but for that of the children of Israel, so also are all the tests in whatever shape are for our own benefit. In the middle of our hardships, we are invited to grow in trust and in confidence that we are loved and would never be abandoned by God. My friend, do you trust God? We are told in Luke chapter 12, verse 22. This is from the Isitory translation. Jesus said to his followers, So I tell you, don't worry about the things you need to leave what you will eat or what you will wear. Verse 30, this, that is what all those people who do not know God are always thinking about. But your father knows that you need those things. Verse 31, what you should think about is God's kingdom. Then he will give you all those other things you need. Yes, when we trust God, we would not base our minds on only things that we need, what we will eat, where, and everything else. Rather, we would trust him, seek his kingdom, and he would add everything else unto us. Are you allowing fear to drive your every action and word? Have you stopped trusting God and you are now searching for help in people, places, products that you know are against God's will for you? As they panicked, the children of Israel forgot the love and power that God had shown to them in the past. Let us not forget, we have been through so much in the past that God came through for us and he will never fail. He will continue to come through. Be reminded that God does not act in on our timetable. He knows what is best for us and he will make them come to pass at the appropriate time. In the meantime, we must continue to trust in him. Lord Jesus, help us to trust that you care for us in all circumstances. We place all areas of our lives where we lack physically, emotionally, financially, socially, intellectually, and spiritually in your capable hands. May we feel your warmth, love, protection plus patience 
as we wait calmly to, for you to meet us in all these areas of our lives. Amen. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now as you continue to trust God and pass the test. God bless you.